my people oando don't make them easy yo. make you now waka go carry your gas stove for only 200 naira make you now use them join body <laughs> This is the program Cook to Live, powered by Gas to Health Initiative. My name is Darego Talama, your regular host on the program. Today on the program, we'll be discussing the growth of the LPG industry from the stakeholders' perspective. I'm not alone. In the house, we have Mrs. Olakwasi Williams. She is the Chief Operating Officer of Owando Marketing. You're welcome to the program, ma'am. Thank you very much, Selma. Mr. Babafemi Olabi, he is head LPG Owando Marketing. You're welcome to the program, sir. Thank you very much. Anytime Cook to Live is on air, we discuss one subject and one subject alone. It is LPG and how we can make our people use it more often, convert to LPG as the source of domestic fuel against the regular we all know kerosene and firewood sir the impact and benefit of the growth of the LPG industry on the Nigerian populace with respect to particularly health the economy and the environment okay uh, thank you very much Stelman we know that uh, climate change has been an issue of global and local consideration and um, changes in climate, you all know, have been due to several activities of both man and the environment. Um, changes in climate have led to instances of de de uh, uh, desert encroachment in the north, indoor air pollution affecting the health and well-being of individuals, households and families, uh, changes in the weather systems, uh, uh, gas flaring in the south, south, south seat and all the areas where you have uh, gas being produced and flared leading to increase in environmental temperatures. So in cumulative uh, consideration, the effect of this on the individual is more in terms of the individual having uh, indoor pollutions in the environment using solid fuels and also for the environment is in terms of increase in wet, uh, environmental temperatures, desertification in the north, and uh, loss of opportunities for empowering people to do entrepreneurial investments in the LPG sector. Pollution, indoor pollution particularly. Now, with the growth of the LPG industry, how exactly will it be beneficial to me? Of course, the, the first thing is for the individual household you have lower incidence of indoor pollution. So what that means is that you are going to have lower incidence of lung diseases, earth diseases. You know that some studies have shown about 3 million women suffer from diseases due to indoor air pollution in terms of soot, in terms of smoke, inhalation because of uh, using solid fuels. And if you have that converted to usage of LPG, you could imagine how many people are liberated to be productive economically when these uh, issues of pollution sicknesses are removed. Uh, on the other hand, the introduction of LPG will not only benefit individuals and households, it will also make economic activity to be more enhanced. I mean, women that have been using hours upon hours to cook, you could now use lesser number of hours to cook and deploy your energies to doing more economic activities. People that have been visiting hospitals for one treatment or the other, you reduce hospital visits. You save money to do some other economic activities, thereby creating wealth. And you also know that, apart from that, there is also an empowerment aspect of LPG because you now have a whole business environment open up for investments and entrepreneurs to come in at the small micro level to, to invest in LPG uh, because of its clean, safe and health uh, um, um, values. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, ma'am, Mrs. Olakosi Williams, mm, a heavyweight. I like it when women are in the house. Ma, you know, um, when discussing LPG, it's not, it doesn't just run on rails, being very real. What do you think are those challenges facing the growth of the LPG industry, particularly deepening the market in Nigeria? 
Thank you very much, Telema. Um, before I answer that question, I want to contribute to what Baba Femi has said about the importance of LPG. And what, where I want to emphasize is the advantage of conversion to the youth, which is our children. If you look at the bottom of the pyramid, you know, the, the, the regular uh, market woman, the lower income earners um, using firewood, you will find out that for them to get this firewood, half of the time or they're sending their children to the forest to go and get the firewood. So we're talking about children, children that should be going to school, their parents are sending them to, you know, to the forest to get firewood because as far as they're concerned, that's the only means of cooking that they know. We shouldn't enforce the children to go and get firewood for their parents to cook. They should be in school learning education so that they can build the nation. So I just want to emphasize that. There's a lot of benefits. You live longer and all of that, but most importantly, we need to think about the benefits of switching from the kerosene or from the firewood, especially to LPG, you know, to save our, our children. I just feel that I should mention that. Um, you are right, challenges. Um, we've seen that Owando as um, we've been in this conversion in trying to move millions of Nigerians from the unhealthy fuels, which is your coal, which is your, your kerosene, your firewood, moving them to the more you know, efficient and also uh, uh, cleaner fuels, which is the LPG. It's been challenging for us because it involves a lot of investment, which Owando has been proud to say that we have committed to those investments. So in the last three years, we brought in over 500,000 cylinders uh, with a cooking stove um, to push to the bottom of, of the pyramid. We've engaged in scheme that we term as O-Access. O-Access stands for Oando Africa Climate Change Empowerment Support Scheme. You know, so we brought up all that up and the initiative of that uh, program is actually to ensure our availability, safety and the convenience supply and financing solution. Because the main thing is to get them to switch from the kerosene. How are we doing this? You know, we brought in uh, uh, the microfinance banks. We've done a scheme whereby they can extend a facility to the bottom of the pyramid and they can pay 200 naira a day to actually own a stove. A stove which is the gas cylinder, a 3 kg cylinder filled and went with the cooking burner as well. And you know, that would make it easy for them to actually throw away their kegs with their kerosene and um, embrace the LPG as the cooking, uh, their, their, their cooking um, uh, uh, element, yeah, appliance. So that's what we have, you know, we have also done. We've gone on awareness campaigns, um, we've partnered with NGOs, we've partnered with the government, local government, um, you know, Lagos State, for example, is also on board to, to move the, 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 leg, the people of Lagos State to cleaner fuels of LPG. <laughs> I like what you're doing here. This is part of the initiative. I'd like to congratulate you and encourage you. Keep doing what you're doing. We're just an, a step away from, uh, you know, turning the millions of people in Nigeria to switch to LPG. This program is Cook to Live and is powered by Gas to Health Initiative, the growth of the LPG industry from the perspective of a stakeholder. And since we're discussing the perspective of the stakeholder, we do have the stakeholders in the house today. Mrs. Olak Bosti-Williams, the Chief Operating Officer 
Owando Marketing and also Mr. Baba Femi Olabi, who is the head LPG Owando Marketing. Hmm. This is very interesting. I'm sure this is like one of my best programs so far because I'm also learning a lot. So we, we have road shows. We go to the markets, you know, we always demonstrate and we use the gas to actually fry a little akara. Mr. Baba Femi, please, there is a way forward. The way forward has to start from the policy that government puts in place. Government has to put in place a policy that enables LPG the cooking gas initiative to be fully deployed nationwide, removing burdens along the LPG value chain. Getting the product is no more a challenge in terms of supply, but we, we would like situations where there will be policies on tax exemptions, VAT removals, and every entrance along the distribution value chain. In addition to that, they also need um, to create a, a more comprehensive awareness program on the usage of LPG among the populace. Hohando Tone has done wonderfully well in terms of using the all access platform to create a lot of awareness for switching from solid foods like biomass, like wood to LPG. And, but the private sector, as Hohando is doing, cannot do it alone. So it has to take more direction from the government in terms of policy and other uh, incentives and also more players. Uh, we have done a lot as a handle as a company, uh, particularly in terms of the safety education and also in terms of financing support. Like Mrs. Williams was saying, you only need to go to a participating microfinance bank and pay 200 naira and take your complete cooking solution. Please uh, stress it again, stress it again. You only need to pay 200 naira and go to, uh, go to a participating microfinance bank, pay 200 naira and take home your complete cooking solution. So you are going to take your cooking stove, cylinder plus burner filled with gas and you can immediately start cooking with that stove. Hmm. It's a plug and play thing. Okay, so and um, this 200 naira you pay expectedly to 200 naira every day for a period of of one month okay. and then it will become your home but when you go to a participating microfinance bank today you pay 200 naira they give you the whole uh, package of uh, LPG cooking solution from Ohando. Okay so um, basically how can the common man know which microfinance banks are participating in this okay thank you there is ASAL we have ASAL microfinance bank already with us here in Abuja is the biggest in the north central and we're working with them my people yeah, as you know <laughs> these are the parts when I like pass as a true Nigerian what I want to tell them is say may they just change leave this Yamayama uh, uh, wood where they cut for bush carry use gas stove when you use gas stove no more sickness no more say you know if you do your business you cook quick you finish cook you forget time to do your other business and like we don't talk um, or and don't make life easy for now that obonget gas stove pay 200 naira begin use them then you will be paying small small and then you can live well Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Baba Femi Olabi, Program Coordinator, Mr. Benedict OJ. Many thanks to our producer, Udubisi Ipala.